do you even lift, bro? Welcome to Physiology Bites, and today we're talking about skeletal muscle. Whether you lift a dumbbell, kettlebell, or just a remote control, it's all because of skeletal muscle. And that's because skeletal muscle contracts, meaning it generates force, which can be transferred to the bone, allowing us to move our skeletal system or to maintain our posture. Now, when we look at skeletal muscle tissue, really, it's just a bundle of muscle cells. Bundles of muscle cells bound by various layers of connective tissue. So let's look at the muscle cell itself to see how contraction actually occurs. When we look at the muscle cell, there's a few things which are similar to other cells and some differences. So when we look at this, we can see things like mitochondria in the cross section and things like nuclei. Skeletal muscle is multinucleated. So this is something similar to many other cells, although skeletal muscle is one of the few cells which is, has multiple nuclei per cell. But the really defining factor of the muscle cell is the myofibril, because this is the thing which makes muscle muscle. This is what allows contraction to occur because it all occurs in the myofibril. So let's zoom in on that myofibril. When we zoom in, it's surrounded by some organ, uh, an organelle called the sarcoplasmic reticulum and also the T-tubule system. That's important for its activation, but that's for a topic for another day. Let's look at the myofibril itself and where the contraction occurs. If we zoom in nice and close, what we can see is actually what we have in a myofibril is lots and lots of sarcomeres next to each other and on top of each other. Okay, so that's all myofibril is, lots of these sarcomeres. Now, what a sarcomere is, is a functional unit of skeletal muscle. This is where the actual contraction and force generation occurs right here. And that's because of these thick filaments in red interacting with these thin filaments, causing the thin filaments to slide over them. Let's talk about why that actually happens. So as you can see, we've got the thick filament in red and the thin filament in blue, and the Z line acts as a border between different sarcomeres. Now, when we zoom in, we can see these little projections from the thick filament. The thick filament is just a bundle, a few hundred of, what, of this protein called myosin. And this myosin has a globular head. This globular head binds to the actin on the thin filament, okay? When it binds to this actin on the thin filament, because of the energy it's got stored up through the hydrolysis of ATP, it's in a loaded position um, because of that ATP hydrolysis, a process then occurs where the myosin head pulls or does this kind of movement, okay? Moving the whole thin filament. So the myosin head grabs onto the thin filament and physically moves the thin filament. So this is a direct, um, this is how we get direct mechanical force through this interaction of the myosin head with the actin on the thin filament. Now, of course, doing this once isn't enough. So what happens to happen for a substantial muscle, a degree of muscle contraction to occur or to change the length of muscle, we have to actually do this multiple times. So the repetition of the myosin head binding to the actin, letting go, and then reattaching at a different point, if we want to change the size of the sarcomere, is called cross-bridge cycling. Okay, so lots and lots of power strokes, detaching and reattaching is just termed cross-bridge cycling. And this is a process by which we get muscle contraction. And when we do it in animation, it looks like this. Myosin heads grab onto the thin filament and pull it close to the center. When it relaxes, the thin filaments pull out. So that's how muscle contracts. Hopefully when you apply that now, if that happens in a sarcomere and a myofibril is just lots of sarcomeres and most of the muscle cells myofibrils, hopefully now you can understand by what happens in the sarcomeres is a direct reason of why we have muscle contraction. All right, goodbye.